Oh, what text message from Brand Dog? I don't think so. I should be tomorrow. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna caps lock this. Okay, caps lock text. Moother Fooker. And I spelt it like that too. Moother Fooker. Moother Fooker. Me and Brandon, we have a very our, sorry. Brandon and I have a very that kind of sense of humor. We're always being like, you motherfucker! At like the most mundane things. And they'll be like, how did you know? Yeah, recently we've made it a joke of doing- of how did you know is not as funny as it used to be, so now we do it with weird vocal inflections that don't make any sense, and for some reason it just makes it better. Where I'll be talking to Super Effector and he'll be like, He'd be like, Madrot bred you motherfucker, and I'm like, how did you know? And then we'll just laugh and then go on with a real conversation. Oh wow, I didn't know Thrash was that strong, Jesus. Wow, I should be using Thrash this whole time to sweep. Well, awesome. This is a new Pokemon in the second gen. It's a good one. Did I one-shot it? Almost. Oh, forgot when you have, uh... When you use Sunny Day, you can use Instant Solar Beams. Oh, I use Thrash, does that mean I'm confused? Yes. Ah, haven't shaved in a few days. Itchy beard. Must attempt to ignore... Ah... Ooh, I concede defeat. Concede defeat, you bitch. I already beat you. Here's a rainbow badge in my wallet. Received rainbow badge. Man, it feels like I'm like not accomplishing anything with this. Delightful. Giga Drain. Itchy Beard. Hey, I got a TM for this one. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, it's time to get out of here. Alright, I just want to do that. Do that to speed up uh, the travel. I'm gonna heal up. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. I went too early. Oh, man. Let's go fight the Koga's daughter next. To the left, to the left. Oh, man, I'm an awful singer. Wait, isn't there a Snorlax here? Yeah, no Snorlax. Oh, you can't stop yourself with A and B this time. Hey, you! You're from Johto, huh? Yep. Blake Riley throws a wheezing at me, get it? Cause he's on a motorcycle. And it lets off fumes. And it makes you cough cause it's toxic. Clavar! I'm not even attempting to hide that I have it I I have Soulstorm syndrome all over again. Where I'm so extremely burnt out on the series that it has passed not giving a shit, looped around infinity and become hilarious again. Or at least I find it hilarious. Where it's like I give a shit, but I don't. Cycling Road is a quick shortcut to Celadon. Correct. No, false! Hey, people who say true. Where they ask you a question, it's like, hey, are you going to the dance tonight? And it's like, yeah, man. They're like, and he's like, oh, true. I'm like, okay. How is that a logical response to what I said? The words I am saying are true. But if you knew the words I am saying were true, 
then doesn't that mean you already knew the answer, and thus you didn't need to ask? Like, these assholes, it, every time I hear them say true, I just want to, like, make up a lie, and then they're like, oh, true, and I'm like, no, false! Just to teach them not to do it, because they're being presumptuous. Or just vapid, galloping idiots. I galloping idiots, that's a new one. I don't know where that one came from. I probably heard it somewhere. Okay, I'm sorry. Does the green hair and green lipstick look look completely ridiculous to anyone else? Just noticed that. All right, let's get another badge. Fourth badge will be halfway done the badges. Oh man, those walls are so invisible that you can see them. Oh, they're all imposters. I catch ya. Um, I believe I have to go this way. My eyes are bugging out a little. Um, can't be that one. I think it's... Uh, it's probably this one. Foo 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 foo. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking! I'm the real deal, knew it. Janine of the Fuchsia, Jim, that's me. Yes, Koga's daughter, I believe. Yep, and she's got a buck tooth, apparently. Crobat, cool Pokemon, cool Pokemon, I like Crobat. Crobat's pretty badass. I'm gonna throw a rock in his face. <gasps> So, how is it your gym leaders are only, like, level 35? Is there just not a trainer in Kanto stronger that has applied to be a gym leader? Like, do you apply to be a gym leader, or is it just like, you're a really strong trainer and you only use one type? Uh, we're gonna assign you to this gym. Is that how it works? Like, I know I'm digging too deep into this, but how does it work? I bet you someone could point me towards, like, an episode of the TV show or something where they explain it, or, like, maybe a Bulbapedia entry, because Bulbapedia is insane in how in-depth they are. So I'm happy Toxic didn't hit. If you guys don't know, Toxic, really cool move. It's like Poison Gas, where it poisons you, but it doesn't do any damage or anything, like, it's just a poison move. However, it gives you a stack... That's, I don't know if it's officially called this, but I know it's at least unofficially called Badly Poisoned. Where it starts off as the usual poisoning, which is an eighth of your max health per turn in damage. But it'll start at an eighth, then it'll go, it'll double each time. So like, you know, fourth. I think it's like, no, a sixteenth, then eighth, then fourth. Something like that. But it continually doubles. That or goes up by multiplier 2, but I'm pretty sure it doubles. And eventually you've got this poison where, like, even if you heal, you're still taking insane amounts of damage if you don't, like, cure the poison. And eventually it just gets to a point where it'll outright kill you in one turn, I believe. I don't think it has a stopping point on the multiplier, so I guess eventually it just flat out kills you. So it's an awesome move in a defensive battle. It's one of the reasons uh, poison Pokémon are usually such good defensive Pokémon. Dire hit. Well, that was a waste of a move. Who uses dire hit? There's probably some obscure online tactic people use with dire hit that I don't know about, but who used it in their playthrough? You're a tough one. You definitely won, Ellipsis. Here, take the soul badge. Um, uh, I received soul badge. Woo! You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic. TM06. I don't know why she sounds like this now. Why do I feel so goddamn tired, even while I'm drinking water? Man. <sighs> I keep yawning. I guess I did have kind of a crap night's sleep. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, what gym do I go to next? Um, okay, so I can't go to the water gym. I've got to get through Diglett's cave. So I can get to Pewter. 
Well, I need to be able to wake a Snorlax before I can do that. You know what? What gyms have I not gone to yet? There's the water one, which I've been to, but no one was there. There is Cinnabar Island, which I think I have to get to Pallet Town first. Who can I get to that I haven't done the battle for? Done that. Done that. Uh, I've done that. I've done this. So I've done four. Cerulean, I haven't done that. Huh. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Oh, right! Um, the one I, I, I couldn't think of was, uh... Was, uh, Giovanni's old gym, the ground gym, which is not even ground type anymore. I think it's just, like, miscellaneous. Because Gary is the gym leader. So the last four, the only one I can get to is the water one, the Misty isn't there, and I don't know why off the top of my head. I think the next thing we need to do then is fly over to Saffron and go to, uh... Go to... Why am I forgetting the name of the town? The one to the right. The one with the corpse tower. Nice colors, guys. You look like one badass gang there. Wow, no random encounter. Uh, Lavender Town. How'd I forget that creepy music? Uh, people that come from all over to pay their respects to the part of the souls of Pokemon. Oh wow, Corpse House. And it's right down here too. Mr. Fuji, yes! Welcome! Hmm. You appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to departed Pokemon. Please offer condolence for the souls of the departed. I'm sure that that'll make them happy. Man, you're one ultra-religious Pokemon, dude. What do I get a flute? Soul House. May the souls of Pokemon rest easy. Sounds like they're just trying to get around, like, saying any religion. It's the generic religion Soul House! It's Bob's Soul Emporium. They're like, we don't want to piss anyone off, so we're not going to say exactly how it works. I don't feel like that's the way I have to go. Alright, why am I even going down here, actually? I've got to get the flute. So who in this city's got the flute? Where do I get a hint at where to get the flute? Lavender Town... Yeah, okay. Oh wait, it's the radio station! I forgot! There's no flute in this one, you have to play the radio station. I can dig it. There we go. Okay. Yep, Snorlax! Uh, Poke Gear. I don't care about catching you, I'm just gonna beat you up. Oh yeah, I need a special- what? Uh. Oh. Weird, I thought I needed a special card to play the radio here. Storm peacefully, okay, so it's not this station. Oops. I don't think it's this one. Um... Huh. I might have to look online to see what to do next. But before I resort to that, I'm going to fly... Ah, sorry, readjusting my chair. Really uncomfortable. Got an awful chair. Back to Cerulean. Look for Misty again. 
See if there's anyone who gives any hint to where she is, maybe? You! Slowbro, awesome combination, that's great. Eh. I do not care. You! Kanto's power plant is towards the end of Route 9. There's an accident there. Okay, do I have to go there? Uh, because I know where that is. Is it necessary to go there? I don't know. Um... Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Gold, I'm gonna look up on Bulbapedia and see what the hell I have to do. But until then, have a nice day.